All right, you guys, we're about to get straight to it. Another episode, Life with Polo. And we're about to do some household chores, installing the brand new toilet tissue holder in the bathroom. So I'm gonna show you how that guy, I, I'm gonna show you guys how that process starts and ends very fast. Um, and I believe we'll be able to use the old holes from the original. So all of that has been done. So I'm gonna get back with you guys in a second. Let me set this camera up to the next location. So you guys, in full fashion, like I always do, I have jumped the gun without recording anything. I've taken items out of the bags that they belong in. These, all of these. So basically how this works is one of these goes into there. The other one goes into there. You can stick that thing on the wall. But before you can get to that point, last step you have to put these little screws and things and dilly dallies in so they give you these right here and we all know what these are these are for the drywall right right that way you don't have to enter studs you don't have to enter studs when you have this going into the drywall so basically you pre-drill the holes into the drywall you insert these and then you screw this inside of here boom bang bang So that's basically how that works. You screw these into the into the hole, and then it'll be like that. And then you'll have the actual screw going in, and it'll be like this. So don't worry about them extra long nails. I just went to the store. <laughs> I got kids, you guys. It's hard to keep up with things when you got kids. Everybody uses everything because everybody's growing and getting older and so mature. So, yeah, getting back to that. Let's bust this down like last year, you guys. Let's do it. So what I've already done is made sure these holes are simply big enough. Right? Right? I've already done that. And just to show you it'll work, so they give you preset holes, right? Right here, right here, right here, right here. This is the template that they give you. So if you put this template up, put it up, put it up straight, it's close enough. And I believe we'll be able to work with it. So. That way I don't have to cut and patch the old holes. See? I believe that'll work, man. That way I won't have to patch the old. Next to God dang it. I didn't get my screw brush. Be back with you guys in a second. So. We got all the oils on. I think I just screwed that completely up. I thought I was recording when I wasn't. So yeah, that's how that went. Am I even recording now, man? Yes, I'm recording now. So um, I put all of these in. I don't know if you saw that or not. I probably messed this whole thing up with that, but this is not very hard to do. You just simply make sure the holes aren't too tight so that the screws the plastic screws will go in, the drywall screws, they'll go in and be your holder for the whole uh, tissue, the toilet tissue holder. Um, because these screws right here are what's gonna hold the bracket on that holds the toilet tissue holder's arm. So it's gonna hold this arm right here. So, boom. So I'm gonna grab Phillip head screwdriver and then get back with you guys in a second. So. I'll give you guys a close up so you can see. I thought I already did this before, but obviously I didn't. I hadn't already. Wasn't recording. So initially, the way this was done, I don't know how they why they did it that way, but they just used screws. 
So that's why it ended up coming out of the drywall. But at the same time, um, you're not supposed to use the toilet tissue holder as, you know, a means to get off of the toilet. So I'm gonna go grab a Phillips head screwdriver and then get back with you guys in a minute. So we are back. Let's go get some handy dandy tools. Get that super case, you dig? Everybody needs one of these. And for times like this, random stuff, you need one of these. Complete set, complete set. But all right, let's get back at it. Let's get these brackets installed. So, this is all simple stuff, man. Anybody can do it. Anybody can do it. If you add a little drill, it will be way faster. But stuff like this, you really don't want to really be using power tools. Just go and get in there and put that little little muscle on there real quick and get her done, you did. It's not that hard. So what we've done with those plastic drywall, drywall screws, we've basically secured it as if it were a two by four. So, and basically I'm just leveling this out in the middle. Getting it kind of snug. Cause what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop my level in there to make sure we good. So I'm gonna grab this other bracket. Put that muscle in there, man. Go on, get her done. Household chores, man, they don't do themselves. Somebody's gotta do it. They say, what does the man of the house do? What do you do as the man of the house? So I'm assuming these items are up to you, brother. Whoever the man of the house is, or call in the handyman, your local handyman. Now, the original holes, I'm not sure how, how um, level they were when they installed this. Oh, well, that's not bad. Adjust this a little bit. All the way up. It's a little off. just a little bit just to confirm how the bracket fits oh matter of fact let me show y'all we on the bubble mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what that is what that is bubble popular so these right here go to the bottom Tighten up the little pins right here. These go to the bottom. So, screw that out. 
ke so you, as you can see the was in shit I'll show you guys on the next one <laughs> back in you know use it the long way a little easier so I'm gonna I'm gonna screw this one in and then get back with y'all in a second okay we are back that side is installed boom as you can see on there click ticking all right and we're gonna take this one off so I'm gonna show you guys what I was talking about earlier the screw is screwed all the way in right here. So all you gotta do is grab the Allen wrench that comes in it. Comes with an Allen wrench for these. Grab that Allen wrench. Oh, there you go. Had to hit that zoom button. So I'm gonna screw this out. All the way flush with the bottom of this piece. Well, with that inside piece, rather. So, and then you don't want this too tight to the wall. You want it a little loose. You don't want it a little loose. You want it just right to be all the way honest with you. Cause you don't want it to pop. You don't want it to bend either side. I'm not too tight. So, I'm gonna put this one on, screw this in, and get back with you guys in a second. My neck, all right, okay. So, we got that screwed in, boom, you guys. I'm talking about that bad boy looking good, god damn it. All right, so, it's all the way screwed in. As you can see, screwed, screwed. Screwed and glued, brother. Screwed and glued. So, as you can see, we got that thing all the way in. And when, you, when you're screwing that Allen wrench, that Allen key in, you wanna recess it just a little bit. You don't want it to be flush. Then this is the final piece. Boom, boom, boom. Yes, sir. Brand new, baby. We in there, thumbs up. Is this it? Or is this it? Is this it? Well, this is the way I'm goddamn doing it. <laughs> Push. That boy kind of stiff, Jack. Boom. And we on. We on and popping. We on and popping. Mm -hmm. I can hear like a little kid with it. All right, whatever. Cut. 